going to be making a hummingbird um, bath. Uh, so um, I got a plate which I started drilling um, already uh, and I got a vase to put the water in and a styrofoam ball which I had my grandkids um, painted as well as tubing for the water. Um, so this is half inch but it's really snug to put in this piece to um, to get a water effect. After this is all put together you just put it outside with the panel facing the sun. There's no on and off switch so as long as you have it in the sun it'll go. Um, so I will continue. I drilled um, I drilled through the star foam so drill bit is too too small for this so and I don't have another size up so I'm just gonna work this little hole around a little bit to make it bigger What you need is enough that this tube can make its way in. I think I got it. So then it's just pulling it through slowly. You're going to have to maneuver it in. I'm twisting it a little bit because the fountain does come with multiple attachments so you can have like a little fountain or dripping or just straight up whatever you want. Um, the piece that I selected is more, I don't know what you call it, but like a cascade kind of thing. So I don't know if I'm going to get it to work today because I haven't had it out in the sun at all and as I said it's been cloudy here all morning. It's early afternoon now and yesterday was raining all day. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is an indoor kind of project. I am almost there. So to get this attachment through the this pipe was really difficult because um, this attachment is the same size so I had to heat this up so that it would be more malleable then I had to push this in I, and then I will have to drill a hole onto the Voss here so that this wire could sit in it. Just enough for it to sit below the plate um, so that the plate is sitting level with this. And then you can always silicone over it so that uh, it's not gonna move. This pipe will go onto here and sit inside it. This doesn't have to be very long. It just depends on the size of the of the vase. So I may even cut it back a little bit more. And once you have this filled with water, you can fill it, you know, just below where you do the hole for the wire. Uh, then you can fill it up with water so it'll be heavy enough that um, that it'll sit still. It'll have enough weight so it's not toppling over. Uh, what you want to make sure is that you've got enough water uh, because you don't want the pump to be running when there's no water in there. 
Um, so you may want to check it on a daily basis. Okay, so here is the finished product. I will show it to you after. And here is the solar panel. Um, I had to glue this in and then you glue the ball to the plate and then you secure it on the bottom there as I have. It's a little clumpy, but I don't want anything to come through. I shortened the hose quite a bit because I just found it was too long and when the water is cold, it's just gonna stay stiff. So I didn't want it this to be lopsided. So I did it like that and I ended up putting the cord inside. So this was a challenge to do and I had to eventually uh, bring out my utility knife because it just wouldn't go through. So I just did that little crevice there so that, and I'm gonna try the wire inside. So that's inside there. And then when you put the plate on, it's like that. You can lift it up to refill, which you'll probably have to do on a daily basis. You wanna make sure that the panel is in full sun. And here is the little bird bath. Oh, just stop. So it, it's still loading. So if it gets cloudy, it goes off. So I'll try and get a view of it when uh, the hummingbirds are on it. But I'm quite pleased with it. No hummingbirds yet. But I'm awfully proud of it. So cute. So I was hoping to rake in the um, the wood chips so I could start on this garden. I just couldn't. I came out with a rake and looked at it and decided to weed instead. So, um, but yeah, this has to get done. So these rhododendrons, I thought they were blue, but it turns out that they're purpley. It's doing well and needs some soil. I think I like the red ones better that I had last year. It's like a magenta. This has to be removed, this stump. So I'm going to ask Jeff if he can do that. And there's a whole bunch of roots over here. I think this is part of the reason why it didn't come. Because I knew I, knew I couldn't get through that. But anyway, I will... Um, I will get to it eventually. So, heard an owl across the bay in that green space there. I think he's still there. But I don't know if I can... No, it's too far. Well, he's there. I don't know if you can see over there all those little ripples. Those are all fish eating. Err. I think I'm going to go in. There's just too many noises going on. 